beautiful boat, work of art type of sailboat, you know. Really large cock, but I know I've said it already, but it's strikingly large for about this size. Very simple, simple boat. I like it, I do like simple. What's up everybody, today I've got for you all a slightly different type of boat from what we usually feature. This is a beautiful racer cruiser that's a bit more on the weekender side of things instead of the long distance cruiser like I normally film. She's unique, beautiful, well equipped, and looks like an absolute joy to sail for some club racing, day sailing, and or a mild coastal cruising. As always, remember to do all the usual things, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, I just stepped aboard and we are going to go forward first. Already just beautiful looking boat. Teak decks in really good shape. No lifelines. <laughs> so safety a little bit of a concern here. But this is, you know, not really an offshore boat. This is more of a, of a fun boat. Club racer. Fun to sail. That kind of thing. Why waste you know, space and weight with having lifelines. <laughs> but anyway, very cool boat. Good looking boat. There is a boom for the head sail, so the head sail is self tacking, which is nice. Something to knock you overboard when you're underway because of no lifelines. <laughs> but still pretty cool. I can appreciate every boat. You guys know that. Bow locker here for your anchor and road. No windless, very simple, simple boat, but beautiful. Roller furling head sail. So this is really cool. So your lines up here actually go below deck and all the way back. So you're not stepping on them. That's pretty cool. You don't see that too often. So it keeps your decks nice and clean and clean they are. Looking aft, just a beautiful boat work of art type of sailboat, you know. I would certainly love to take her out for a sail. It would be very fun. So we've got rod rigging, no backstay it looks like. And looking up the rig, double spreader main mast, sloop rigged, fractional rig actually, and slab reefed main. Nice clean coach roof here. Who needs ventilation? <laughs> and for the cockpit, it looks like there is a Dodger as well as a Bimini that covers all of that. And then the main is sheeted after the cockpit. So that's pretty nice. Good for safety as well as for comfort because you got a nice, big, comfortable cockpit. Now this is actually, this is a massive cockpit for a boat this size, to be honest. So really good day sailor, really good club racer. Fun boat to sail for sure. Continuing all the way aft. So now I'm standing back here on the on the aft deck and you have a pretty pretty good aft deck here. So you know this is almost a center cockpit boat. I'd really, you know, I'd consider it an aft cockpit with a little aft deck back here. Large overhangs below, so we're basically on the overhang right now. But you got lots of room for activities back here as well as a nice big locker back here so a nice big aft locker and your your steering access to your steering to your rudder very nice and honestly standing on the aft deck would be a lot of fun while you're underway so we've got a very large wheel on a pedestal single helm here so you're likely going to helm from either combing and just you know single hand the helm either that or you could you could sit here but Either way, should be a lot of fun. And then you got all your instruments that you need right there at the pedestal. It looks like there's only two winches in the cockpit. So very simple design. Everything goes to these, to these two winches. And realistically, you know, what more do you need? So you've got that self tacking jib, so. Jib sheet, out haul, jib furler, everything's labeled. And then main sheet, reef, and main halyard. So everything you need to these two winches. So very simple, easy to sail, and fun. 
and I believe the winches are electric. So back here is your emergency tiller access. And then going forward, guys, this is a really, really large cock, but I know I've said it already, but it's strikingly large for about this size. Very nice place to lounge. And then, you know, you can set up a cockpit table. Just a great day sailor. Weekender type boat. Nice big cockpit locker. And then I believe there's another big one right here because you know there's no cabins underneath the cockpit so it's all it's all storage lots of storage very nice in good weather like today having the bimini and dodger off would be really nice but then if it's super hot or super cold or whatever bimini and dodger would be nice to have so i like that i like that it's here all right guys, I think that's about it. Let's go down below. Real quick, here's a shameless plug for something that I think you'll enjoy. Are you in the market for a cruising boat? Are you selling one? Or maybe you're like me and you just like looking at cool boats. If any of that sounds like you and given that you're watching this video, I'd bet that it does. I'm excited to tell you about something that we've been working on behind the scenes for a while now. We've just soft launched with the help of our friends at Loma Tech, a new website slash marketplace specific to affordable cruising yachts. Meaning on this site, you can list your boat, buy a boat and or window shop for boats just like the ones we film in our tours. You can go on there now and just like how we don't charge to film the tours we're already doing, list your cruising boat for free and get access to the Learning the Lines community of potential buyers. We wanted to do this because quite frankly there's too many cool cruising yachts out there and not enough time for us to film all of them. So we created a marketplace for unique affordable cruising boats of which to the best of my knowledge no great options currently exist for this very specific niche. What do you have to lose? Check out the link in the description to join the community. And then once you get down here you know for a 5-10 man like myself Got to crouch my head down a little bit, so definitely not standing headroom for a lot of people. But pretty spacious for what it is. You got your main salon here with your salon table in the middle. You got two straight settees that can also be used as pilot berths. Storage behind them, storage above and below. And then continuing forward, like I said, you do have to duck your head a little bit. Your mast is right here, and then a V-berth. So, you know, it's got it's got a place to relax, a place to sit and sleep if you need. But not really, not really a liveaboard cruiser, obviously. But good little boat, fun little boat to have, for sure. And you do have, you know, and you do have storage around so you can spend spend a little bit of time on the boat if you wanted to turn it aft this is basically it guys like you know you've got your v-berth looking aft main salon little galley right there and then a head and that's it you know very simple simple boat i like it i do like simple no real nav station just you know instruments in your main distribution panel right there Hanging locker to port right here. And then a little wet head. Again, without <laughs> without standing headroom, so you gotta stay, you gotta live <laughs> down below, crouched a little bit. Turn to port the little galley. Now, you know, if I was gonna be cooking food, I'd be standing right here where I have headroom. <laughs> so my head would be out the companionway like that. Because again, like my head would hit that. So, cold storage, sink, gimbaled stove, a little bit of storage behind and down below. What more do you need? And then the engine and battery is going to be right down here. Looks like a sail drive, reverse mounted sail drive. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern.
So what do you think? Personally, you all know I can appreciate any boat and I feel that this one is unapologetically a beautiful racer weekender akin to a classic car. It's a boat that you don't buy for its practicality but for its beauty and the enjoyment it'll bring when you show her off to your friends, stand back and say, would you look at that? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tour and as with all of our videos, the listing information and current asking price will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Remember to do all the usual things and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson